Right everyone, before we get into today's video, I'm Changi and the man behind the camera is Ozzy. Joe's down on the other plot finishing that up, there's only about 25 watts left in there and then he's going to have a tidy through and bring everything up. But today we're on pikes. As I said before I get into this video, I've got a couple of things I want to say. There's a few people on YouTube and they're putting different content out and I want to clear a few things up. A lot of things are opinion and they're putting them out there as if they're fact. Number one, bespoke brickwork. There is no such thing as bespoke brickwork and this is for all you out there who are getting extensions done, you're getting houses built, you're getting walls built, all that kind of stuff. When you get a builder that comes to you, a bricklayer, and they say, right, we want a premium rate for our work because it's bespoke. There's no bespoke brickwork. There's no such thing. Everything has already been thought up unless they're doing some mental crazy design that they've thought about in their head where they're chopping bricks here, there and everywhere. That's a one-off. Bespoke brickwork is not a thing. What you should get charged for is standard rate brickwork, which is this. Stretch a bond, one on top of two, like that. That is standard brickwork. That throughout the board in England anyway. That's what you get. That's your flat rate. So you get a meterage rate for that. Anything else on top, is a difficulty bonus. So it should be charged as an extra over. So if you've got basket weave, which is three bricks together like this going wrong, or herringbone, where the bricks do this in a, in a panel, you pay then for an extra over on top of the brickwork. And it's not that it's hard to do, it just takes a lot of time. Now, I've seen someone on, on YouTube who's putting out as their brickwork is bespoke, and it's the highest premium quality brickwork you just need a good bricklayer. That is it. You're not paying out for these certain people. A lot of bricklayers out there are good bricklayers. You get the occasional ones that aren't very good or they're a bit rough, real rough around the edges, not taught properly. But on the whole, if you get a good experienced bricklayer, you'll get the same job. Now, do not fall foul to this kind of, well, what is it? It's not fake news, what is it? It's uh, putting out their own stuff saying, oh, this is one of a kind, you pay a premium for us. No. Pay a standard rate and then ask them for the extra over for all the difficulty areas. I'm not trying to take any money out of anyone's pockets, but I'm just trying to make it level and fair for all bricklayers across the line. We can all do that kind of work. The pointing, the extra bits and bobs. If you want a different finisher pointing, you're going to get charged extra because it takes more time. And bricklaying is a trade where you get paid per unit. So what you put in is what you get out, which is why a lot of bricklayers only like doing the simple jobs. They don't like detailed work because it brings their money down and you don't get paid enough for doing the extra details. That brings us into unskilled workers. And this is another YouTuber that is saying that using profiles and stuff like that is for unskilled bricklayers. No, it's not. It's for people who want to earn more money. You don't build corners if you've got anything about your peer because one, I've seen this guy building corners, no, no tape measure being used yet, he gets a few courses on, uses a level, no tape measure for gauge, not perfect, 75 mil increments, all that kind of stuff. I can't be doing with that crap, it's rubbish. Get your profiles up, get the bricks in, you can do a good job, you don't need to build corners. And they're on about building corners like it's the hardest thing in the world. It's the easiest thing you can do, building a corner, corners or profiles, who cares? What earns you more money? Profiles every day so this one is for the young brit layers or even brit layers who are just like debating is it better to build corners or profiles profiles all the way you're not going to earn more money than building with profiles and that takes me on to the next bit which is this guy's work with old timers salt of the earth men real men drop all the macho bs nobody cares nobody cares about i'm a real man i'm this i'm that we're just workers you come in do your work, go home. And the only about, I was taught by salt to the earth men. What is salt to the earth? These guys used to stick black people on the back of buzzies. So that's my kind of thoughts on these kind of salt to the earth men. It ain't for me. Drop the macho BS. Nobody cares. So in essence, the moral of the story is for you people out there wanting to get work done, just go and find a decent quote, find an experienced Brit layer. Have a look at what work he's done before. And then if you're happy, you're happy. And to the young lads out there trying to learn and trying to earn, stop. Don't listen to any BS. 
do things your own way, what you find is quickest and what's easiest. I say it's profiles, that's just me. But a lot of people will agree. Find what fits you and go with it. Don't listen to blokes who are 60, 70, bloody odd years old. We did it this way. Amazon don't use pickers anymore. They've got automation. That's because it's quicker. So get with the times. That's all I've got to say. Rant over, let's get into the video. Right, today we are at site and we've got uh, spandrel panels to do, but we've been waiting on some timber ties since last week. If we don't get these timber ties, they go from the spandrels to the brickwork. So, these white marks, they're the joist, uh, they are the upright studs. We have to fix a timber tie into that through there and then that laps out onto your brickwork. We've been waiting for them since last week. The joints have been landed all the trusses. We'll see what happens. If I go down there and they're not ready, uh, sorry, and they haven't got them, then we still can't continue with this. I'll turn you around and show you what we're up against. First job is to pull this up, lap a damp, a new DPC tray all the way across, lap it over this, this has to lap over the top of it, staple it to the spandrel, and then that's a nice start. Then you put weep holes, every two bricks, all the way through this, and that, and that is for ventilation. The full height weep holes as well. You can't get away with little, um, the little weeps, the concealed weeps. Another thing, whenever you get up here, the scaffolders have been up and sorted tables, but a lot of the time you'll get this, where they're not, tall enough to get the ends of these up here so I'm gonna go and check and make sure that they're all the right lengths this one will just get away with I show you so it needs to be the end of this needs to be at the corner of where this meets so as you don't have to lean over and this one is pretty not it's not too bad so that one's okay the joiners on here are very neat um, who've done these roofs we leave everything back a half so they can slide your soffits in make a nice easy job for the joiner and then it's all good but that's how I do it anyway this bay is perfect you can see how that lines past the edge of the uh, of the corner of the apex whereas this one is somewhere here in the middle so this one needs an eight, at least an extra bay going in to around here to be able to service both of these two so I'll go go down see the site manager or see our site supervisor and tell him this needs an extra bay putting in we'll have a look at the other one see what kind of nick that's in but look at this what a job what a job that's how it should be I need to chop this half out um, well that's perfect and there you can see we did the right thing by leaving these wall plates right through because now we've got this little tiny pediment look at that, that's a really nice neat job that's in there all we have to do now is build past with our brickwork, bring, bring this up and tie to this as well put a tray in over this flick that up attach the tray to there, down here perfect job but look how nice and neat that looks that's brilliant and then with this one it's not too bad actually this is more or less to the corner here so this is more or less to the corner here so that's okay but this side isn't uh, got a big section if you look it's like a meter triangle that I can't reach so I'm gonna ask them to extend that or they can put in a hop up here and we'll have to reach that from that section. Next door. It's been tradied one side. Scaffold is incomplete on that one. Uh, <clears throat> we've got our op up in there that needs to come out. But the scaffold is incomplete there. So once we've done all these, once we've, if the timber ties are here, once we've done these plots, these gables, then these big cut up pikes then we'll be going down into that plot next do a fourth lift on there 
and then this scaffold's got to be dropped anyway if you have a look that's at a different level down there now so once we get this up all the way we'll be able to drop onto that and then there's still some to do on that very last some still some to do on that very last plot but we'll get down there we've got another day we've got another a day and a half on that plot if these timber ties aren't here before we run out of work so let's get on with it what we were doing we were leaving damps i'll show you see these 150 damps we we're leaving these on top of the walls to stop any water getting in but it's causing havoc uh, i like it because it stops any efflorescence stops the water filling up the holes but nobody else likes to leave them on the walls the joiners have been doing the floors they've been kicking them around the cavities when we come for inspection we've then got to remove the bricks from the cavities they've been close on nearly piercing some damps which i don't want and that's a pain in the arse so they are coming off a little later on i'm going to order a couple of tools i'm going to order um a leaf blower to blow out any water before we start the next list because it's when you put the mortar in it sponges down the face and I'll get a leaf blower just to blow it all out before we start and I'm going to order uh, a new SDS drill, battery drill they are two things I've been wanting to get for a little bit so that's what I'm going to do ok it's 9.34 we've got a silo being pumped in behind us where is it? there you go silo's getting pumped in uh, refill these cabins behind me they're getting shifted they're going the other side of the site uh, and we've managed to get in. this gable down the front jumped onto the back now and Joe's just jumped round and he is setting up this corner inside here Ozzy's just finishing loading up getting the side tidied behind us and uh, I'll soon to be working inside with them because I've only got three, six, seven, seven courses on this back it's only a little bit to pull in and then I'll get in there with Joe and uh, we'll start rattling the rest of this block work off ok we're at 10.20 we've got the back ready for jointing I'm dropping inside with this lad here is that a haircut Luke? there you go Very nice. right the side's done, the back's done Joe's been doing that back, got it all up to height, lovely I've been on this side and front got the front up to sill height because we've got some stones to go in and we want the trays to lap onto the sills so onto the onto the block work inside so i've only done it to the right for now joe's gonna finish his little corner on the back get that up and just rack it back there finish that side gable the back there that pillar i was just gonna go and get a plank so we can weight it down so the wind is picking up a little bit so as it doesn't blow in to clamp the formers to the block work to make sure there's no gaps behind them i've got this little tiny vita pull up in here now this is going to take me probably 10 minutes to pull that in and then we're going to get these sills on damps in foam job done build this up uh, i don't know what time it is now but i will get the brickwork on this finished today joe can stay in here finish up any bits if he's got anything to finish tomorrow finish this up tomorrow well me and Oz get started on them pipe cut ups over there uh, which we're still waiting some ties for um, but this drop brick work will be done today so let's start putting some down uh, I kid you not I've just added, asked Ozzy to get a knife for the damps check out this my man's got a fixed blade on site I mean, it's for work. What does it say on it? It's a tough build. Oh, it's tough build. Yeah, it's man. for work. But... It's tradesman knife, they say. Yeah, tradesman knife. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> right. What we're going to do here... You hold this camera for a second. Oh, go on. on. It's on. Right. Number one, investment. This is this type of staple that you really want. In my opinion. I've got the push ones. That push onto but these are a lot quicker tack 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 that's the staple I'd use so on a spandrel panel first thing you gotta do put a damp onto here so what we're gonna do is if, if this knife is sharp enough I'm gonna measure off like this to see roughly where it's gonna come down 
So that is the kind of profile that we want. And I'm reckoning I want to, at least a 100 mil lap from this to this. So if I come up about 150 across here, that should suffice. They say fold it up. I don't think this knife is very sharp. No. But we'll soon see. No, it's not as sharp as a Stanley knife. No, maybe not. I don't think so, no. Stay sharp though. <laughs> no, sharp as it is. It's not as sharp, sharp as a Stanley knife, that is. I'll get my Stanley. I think. Yeah. Oh. Pause that. Back on. Right, Stanley knife. A lot of people <laughs> just rip this off before. You can see there already. It'll make a hole in your membrane. So you want to cut it. See? That's how I do it. And then what we'll do is we'll fold. We'll fold this up. So you got some tears in it. It's not very good, is it? Yeah, this is not the best either. Right now we've got that rolled out the dam. We've lifted, we've cut and lifted these straps because we don't want them ripping all the membrane. And what I'll do is start one end, get it off like this, and then I'm going to tack it all the way through like that. And then you fold this over and you tack that. And then these straps show you where the studs are tack them back down as well you do that all the way across and then you put your deep holes in this channel is about showing people what we do vlogging how we do things and sometimes you might have a bit, a bit of a laugh but not often right, that'll do. right so this is the setup we've got caught ups on here I put a profile on this isn't needy but they just stay on my profiles anyway Little dory block on there, goes all the way down, got profiles set up on the ends. Now we literally can just run this all the way up, unended, and just keep going. Right, now we've got all the lines set up. This is what we do, get your box of weeps in front of you like this. Don't take them out because you're going to need to move them. We do this, brick in, cut off, next brick in. Cut off, we fold. Push it right down. Don't, a lot of people do that, leave it level with the brick. But that leaves you 10 mil underneath where the weep hole is. Any moisture that comes down here has got to rise 10 mil to get to the brick. So they go down like that. So that little plastic flange there is sitting over the brick. That is how you want them. And then you butt up, pull in, we pull, push down, cut off that little section so it's nice there, and continue. Do this all the way across and then you want to go behind and clean out the muck. Simple as that, really, really nice, really quick. And that's how we keep going. And then after, we'll put a bit of gutter in the back of here to collect all the snots. We'll pull it out each end. Job done. All right, let's get working, Ozzy. This is a little tip that somebody put in the comments and I've really enjoyed it. Check that out. This is where my cuts are this end. The sides have been a bit cheap, I don't want to slate them but usually get cuts. They've just said chip them, so we've got to do our best with it and it'll cover with the dry beard. Not my idea. Somebody said do this. They didn't say do that. But this, I've been using like a little quarter. Oh, I didn't do that. It. No. Well, any rubbish when you're doing your cuts, leave a bucket at the end. Somebody put that in the comments. Leave a bucket at the end and your cuts can go in there. 
but uh, most of my cuts have been right that'll do for me for a half and then that other piece yep. won't do anything so straight there you buckets. go just a little tip for you this side we have took up past it goes right up and over there you can have a look from this side here ready to be built tomorrow we're not building it now because we've gone two to 22 courses high you shouldn't really go any higher than 1500 on a lift it starts bowing and buckling so we've left it to that and then we'll come back on look at these these are the cheap 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 long-sided dory blocks i've got two bt ones the 20 odd quid each i've got the rhino ones rhino build ones that they sent me they're rubbish because they're too far back from the line and they're cheap pins and then these 13 pound for two and i tell you what they're a little bit better than the rhino ones but the main ones that you really want bt engineering i've got a couple of them but i'm trying these out today so bt engineering i'm gonna get back onto you get me some gear sent out come on thanks for watching everybody today i mean it's come back this is the comeback for the videos because i've been letting it go i haven't been doing a lot we've just been smashing the brickwork every day all day and now i need to make a bit of time for you people who watch the channel for you people who don't you're not even watching it anyway this is ready for a little hop up lift got up to red height can't really spread very well in there uh, it's the end of the day so we've got the other side up past 22 courses this is had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 on this side so we've got another six to go on top of there to get it up past these boards we're going to leave it to them tomorrow it's 20 past four jobs are good we've had a good day um i hope you've enjoyed watching it if you have give it a like subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel and i'll stop pointing at you every time cheers oh keep it nice and easy